Good, good morning. So, in the interest of time, they've asked me to stick to the script because I can go on and on about my love for Beth Stuyvesant, but I won't bore you with that. <laughs> um, I have with me, as a testament to this village of Beth Stuyvesant's commitment to arts and culture, I've brought along with me my good friend and the chair okay. of Community Board 3, Ms. Tremaine Wright. Good morning. So, so let me just stick to the script. Good morning and welcome to the village of Bed-Stuy. <laughs> we, we consider ourselves to be the unheralded cultural capital of the world. It gives me great pleasure to greet you and to help launch today's Creative Time Summit at Boys and Girls High School. First, I wanna thank Chief Curator Nato Thompson for inviting me to help launch this important discussion that will contribute to the transformation of education here in Bed-Stuy and throughout the world. Last year, it was my pleasure to work with Nato and the Creative Time family at last year's summit at Weeksville. As the council member, it's been my vision and mission to elevate the discussion and to emphasize the importance of arts and culture in the lives and development of our young. Just so you know, I truly believe that arts and culture rule. I've dedicated resources to this vision by establishing an ambassador of arts and culture in my office, the only one in the city council, and provided funding for hundreds of arts organizations locally and throughout the city. Despite this, we still face challenges that cannot be solved by money alone. It's gonna take the collective efforts of my office and my colleagues from the state and federal government in partnership with everyone in this room to push for common sense policies that don't strangle our children with debt just because they want a quality education. <clears throat> yeah, you can clap for that. <laughs> many, many of you are aware of the recent politics around returning gifted and talented programs to this very district, which currently has none, while a neighboring district has 10. No matter your feelings about gifted and talented issues, parents and students should have a choice. I'm proud of the choices that parents have here in our district, and I look forward to the opportunity to offer them more. In this very building, we have Boys and Girls High School, the Nelson Mandela School for Social Justice and Research and Services, Research and Service High School. One traditional high school and two charters, and one school campus. We've created school choice for parents and students, all of which who have access to quality programming and services. Thank you for inviting me, and please take a moment to greet and listen to my good friend and community board chair, Tremaine Wright. Good morning, everyone. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you for having me here. I am pleased and honored to be a part of this discussion and to help open up this event. Radical learning is very important in our community. This is what we've all, at some point in our life, experienced and we know we wanna make sure that we pass on to the next generation. Culture and arts are an integral part of our education system and they must remain a part because we're not fully educating our students if it's void of arts, if it's void of culture. Woo! if it's void of social justice. If we don't have those components part, as part of our curriculum, our children leave ill-prepared. They will not be able to tackle all of the challenges that just come with living. Not to say that they're gonna solve world problems, but we wanna have them prepared so that they can live fully. And that's what our challenge is as the adults in their life right now, to come up with curriculums that's gonna place them in a place where they can excel in life, where their experiences in school have prepared them, where all of those experiences are counted as education, where we value travel as much as art, as much as learning second languages, being able to communicate fully, all of these things, and I'm, I believe that that's the challenge before us. We know that we're saying art and social justice and that we're about to make it radical, but really those are our cores. And once we get back to those cores, we'll be able to fully prepare our students. We are engaged in a fight to bring gifted and talented back in this community. I'm a product of gifted and talented in Brooklyn, and I would tell you, I, will not, I would not be where I am if I didn't attend one of those schools that had those programs, that had large science labs that allowed us to do independent research. So the value is there. We had as many dance and practice rooms as we had science labs. So we need all of this to create full students because we need to be able to appreciate how we all contribute to this community that we call home, and that's just pretty much the earth. So if we can step back, I mean, that's it. We all need to be able to appreciate that we all have a role to play. 
The community board is engaged in bringing together parents right now. We have tried to identify our parent leaders because we understand that it doesn't happen, change like this doesn't happen in a vacuum. And that we need all parties that are, um, at, we need all parties at the table in the, to be engaged in this conversation. So we've started to bring parents together and trying to organize them to remind them that they are parent leaders and that they have a role in this conversation. And hopefully they will be here conversing with you over this weekend and you'll be able to share your ideas and move forward together. So thank you very much. I appreciate being a part of this and I wish you all much success as you explore the ideas and you have an open heart as you explore these ideas this weekend. Thank you. And, and just before we leave, before we leave, I just need you to do me a favor. That's to pull out your smartphones and I need you to hashtag Creative Time Summit Arts and Culture Rule. Can you do that for me? Creative Time Summit Arts and Culture Rule. Thank you. <laughs>